Hey guys, it's DT. Welcome back to the channel. As promised, today we are going to be doing our 30,000 subscriber giveaway. That's right, we are going to be giving away a statue to one of you guys. But not only one statue, we've got two statues here. This is the Pure Arts Hacktivist Wrench and Hacktivist Marcus. These are two characters from the video game Watch Dogs 2, and these two statues actually come together to form one giant statue. Before we get into the unboxing, I just want to thank Collector Zone for donating this statue. So Collector Zone is not like your typical retail store. They create a personalized one-on-one -on -one experience. They learn what you like and they guide you to what you want. A cool thing is the prices listed include shipping, so you don't even have to worry about that. Now Marcos, the owner, is a great guy, and if you want something you don't see on the site, ask Marcos and he can probably get it for you. I'll have all the giveaway information at the end of the video, but for right now, let's open these up. Okay, first up we've got Wrench. This just came out of the box. Sort of like a little nameplate. And this is number 259. I believe they made 1,000 of these. So that's cool. Somebody will be getting this. Let's take a look at Hacktivist Wrench. All right, so this is the bottom of the base. We've got three spray paint cans, paint splotches on the bottom, very low profile. Then we have another part of the base. We've got a wall with some graffiti on it, some rebar sticking out of the top. And then here we have our information, uh, Watch Dogs 2, number 259 out of 1,000. Here we have Wrench's body, very cool jacket. We've got these little metal spikes and onto the back. He's got like a sweatshirt on underneath. And then his jeans look really cool too. They're all ripped up. I don't think that's blood because on the other side we've got red, but they have stars on them. So <laughs> I'm thinking those are his boxers. He's also got some ripped up knees. And then on the very bottom, he's got these cool shoes. And these also have like spike details on them as well. Underneath, even though you probably can't see it on the statue, we have some nice shoe tread on the soles of his feet. Here's a look at the pair of one of the arm options. He's got two fingers and his thumb sticking out. And then he's got some tattoos as well as a spiked bracelet. So that's one arm option. And then we have another arm option right here. And it looks like uh, he's just putting up his favorite number, number one. If your favorite number is one, maybe you'll use these. I like the number two better. So today on the video, I think we're gonna stick with this one. We get some other stuff here. Here is the portrait. You can't really see his face because it has this mask on. Again, we have those metal spikes and we have two X's on the eye. We can see a glimpse of his hair and forehead. You can see parts of his neck and it looks like he has some sort of tattoo on that as well. Looks like we have the ground drone. We've got two big wheels and then sort of a smaller wheel there that doesn't roll. Uh, it's got an antenna right there. I guess they use these in the game, maybe to do some spy work. And I guess that's gonna do it for Hacktivist Wrench. Now let's move on to Marcus. This one does come with the same little plaque and this is number 252. So these statues actually have different edition numbers uh, because they are also sold separately. I believe they retail for about $450 each or you can buy a combo with both of them for $800. So if you're interested in this and you don't win the giveaway, you can always purchase this at Collector Zone, and I'll also give you a code and you can save 5% on your purchase. And here's what's inside box number two. So it looks like this base is all in one piece. We've got pads to stand it up. As you can see, there's little slots right here where the rebar from the other statue can key in. So that's kind of cool. Right here on the back, we've got the information with some graffiti on it. There's that Grim Reaper again. And then we've got this interesting piece right here. It's like real paper that's glued on to the side of the wall to make it look like, uh, like a real flyer. So Marcus is kind of leaning over. He's kind of in a lunging position. I really like how they did the clothes on these pieces. Um, you can see all the little folds in there. Here we have a zipper, a little strap around the back for his little knapsack that has some buttons on it. Just uh, a lot of really cool detail. I love how it looks like real fabric. They've got little worn areas, and at the bottom he's got these cool little designs. 
And then he's got these cool high top shoes on, look like leather. All right, so it looks like we have three arm options. The first one, he is holding a gun of some sort. We see the arms of the jacket. Here is the left hand, and it looks like there's a magnet on there for him to hold something. This left hand, he is holding a phone. Okay, and here's a look at Marcus's portrait. He too has a mask on, I guess to conceal his identity. He's wearing a baseball cap. His eyes are a little bloodshot. Too many hours on the screen. And then it looks like he comes with uh, some shades. Maybe this is to hide his uh, bloodshot eyes. But there you go. We have a security camera. I'm not sure if they hack into that or if it has some other kind of significance. And then we have a drone. This one is the flying drone, quadcopter. Pretty cool design. And I'm guessing this one will attach to that hand with the magnet. Uh, let's put these guys together. So you can display these guys separately like this, or you can actually take Hacktivist Marcus and add him to the top of the wall on Hacktivist Wrench. Okay, so that was a look at the piece. Amazing detail, very colorful, very cool statue to add to any collection. Okay, so on to the giveaway. So to enter, all you have to do is subscribe to DT's Geek Show and Collector Zone on YouTube and join the Collector Zone Cantina on Facebook. The Cantina is a private group where some of the best collectors get all their information, daily pre-order announcements, sales, as well as a bunch of other content. I'm a member there and it's a really great place to see what's going on in the collecting community. In addition to those required items, you can pick up some bonus entries by clicking the Gleam link in the description down below. You must be 13 years or older to enter, and a winner will be selected on November 28th. Thanks for watching, thanks again for subscribing and supporting the channel, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.